Hello YouTube land, my name is Castle Caden and we are going over a bit of a mod spotlight on the wireless redstone mod. A few people have asked how to do it after seeing some of my let's plays so I figured hey why not. Now first and foremost uh, there are a couple of installers available on the forum for both you know Windows, Mac, and Linux however for those Forge lovers and I do recommend this the most there is a universal file which you just kind of drag and drop directly in the mods folder. Done and done. Now, there are a few recipes that you'd actually want to know. Two specifically. One for the wireless transmitter, and then one for the wireless receiver. Now, these recipes aren't exactly too expensive, but then again, if you are low on iron, they kind of can be. So this is kind of not for the very beginning, but this is once you actually start getting a bit of an iron supply. And redstone, well, we all know how easy it is to get redstone. However, this does make redstone kind of more useful. Anyways, so basically you start off with the transmitter, you set it to a specific frequency, and it kind of transmits the signal. The receiver receives that said signal if it's on the same frequency. So let's test this out. Let's set down a transmitter and set down a lever. If we flip the lever, we can see that this turns on. And if we look really closely, we can see zero on it, on all four sides. So all we have to do right now is just click on, well, right click. This will bring up the little UI that they have. What I suggest doing is not using within the first 200 frequencies. So set it to anything after that and just set whatever you want. Let's put it at 240. This will just, you know, help in case if you need some reserved spots at the very beginning. And trust me, they, these do fill up rather easily if you have a rather large setup. Like I do. <laughs> Anyways, okay, so just to test this out, we will head over here, plop down the receiver. As you can see, this is also frequency set at zero. And we're going to put a few lamps, whoopsies, we're going to put a few lamps right across. And as you can see, if we flip this switch, seeing as this is frequency 240 and this isn't, this doesn't turn on. However, I'm going to reflip the switch. Okay, so let's switch this to frequency 240. Is it 240? Yes, it is. Okay, let's flip the switch and see what happens. This lights up. And it's fairly instantaneous. So if you have multiple, you know, receivers, this will work. So let's set that one here, let's set that one here, let's set this one for 240, whoops, 240, and again let's just set that one as some random number. This is just a proof of concept to show that it does in fact work the way you'd expect it to. And you can have as many of these as you want, and as many of those receivers as you want. Voila! And I mean that is fairly instantaneous. There is a potential tick lag for actually turning off the devices around it, but that's because it's a tick. The setting and turning off and on of the receivers is fairly synced up. Anyways, so that's about it. I mean, this is a fairly quick tutorial. I am, well, not really a tutorial, just kind of a mod spotlight to show how to actually use wireless transmitters and receivers. And I mean, you can plug these in the wall, you can hide them type of thing. It's all there. And not to mention, if you really want to be specific, what you can do is actually utilize a bit of redstone powder and hide it behind this even, or even put it behind a wall. Let's say something like that. Pretend that's a wall, I know it's fairly low. There we go. Sorry about that, I forgot to ha I had to invert the signal. So uh, this works, and it's pretty much inverted too. So, you know, if you flip a switch on, it can turn on lights. Why not, right? And that's how you do it, and it works out rather well. Keep in mind, I don't believe there's much of a distance on this. Let's test it out. Let's go somewhere further down. Nope. So, it's pretty far away. I'm going to head just out of the range of my raised minimap. 
and it still turns on over here. Anyways, so this pretty much has been Castle Caden playing Minecraft, showing you how to use the wireless redstone plugin. If you have any questions, feel free to leave comments down below, leave a like on my channel, and subscribe to me if you can. It really helps me out. If you, you know, want to be cool and whatnot, leave a like. Anyways, until next time, guys, keep modding.